comment that we found, I personally found interesting is the word program. Uh, one of the community members says that the word program uh, doesn't really uh, represent sustainability of, uh, of an activity. So they feel like if you say it as a program, it might be something that will end after the funding has come. So there's no continu continuity uh, in that. Uh, so basically what we found is uh, the old logo is uh, probably um, doesn't really represent anymore uh, about the education community uh, work. So uh, before we see the changes, um, let's see what the education uh, community in different parts uh, of the world are doing. So currently we have uh, 100, more than 100 affiliates and uh, projects are available in more than 200 languages and um, in, they have their own unique and different way each of them uh, in uh, running different education activities. So, um, so our community members now, if you look at the activities, uh, uh, they, they run and advocate about free and uh, open knowledge, show leadership and help people to contribute to uh, Wikimedia projects to many of the education activities. Uh, so not just creating readers and contributors, but we also create leaders and advocates uh, to the movement as well in our uh, education activity. So um, not just programs and teaching uh, students how to use Wikimedia projects, but actually like, for example, in Wikimedia Germany, they have worked in policy level changes as well within uh, the education sphere. and. Um, Argentina, for example, uh, they frame uh, education as an activism, uh, as a human rights uh, for uh, everyone. So, yeah, talking about this diverse of uh, activities under a single umbrella of Wikipedia education program feels like it's really difficult to to do that. Like it, it feels like it's not relevant anymore if we see the diverse activities. Um, so how did how did we found those uh, activities? As you know, if you go to uh, maybe wiki outreach page or newsletters, like um, or is it like reports are everywhere and then, like scattered all over uh, in the wiki pages. Um, it's not easy if you don't um, exactly know what you're looking for. Uh, it can be hard to find uh, the information you needed. So um, we we did uh, a project. It's called the mapping exercise. Which uh, was uh, was done by Nicole Savas and one other intern uh, last year. Um, so basically, we collect uh, all those informations from outreach page newsletters, old newsletters, uh, to find all the education activities uh, that has been done in the past I don't know five six years. Uh, so it was quite an effort. Uh, it took them two months, uh, and also with the help of the communities uh, because we open. Uh, we give the link to the communities, please contribute uh, to the spreadsheet. I will show you the spreadsheet later. Uh, but basically in the mapping exercise you can see uh, which countries uh, are the education communities are from, the name of the projects, and then you know how many participants were there, um, the description of the uh, activities. And now we have around 105 uh, data sets available in the mapping document. And, um, yeah, it keeps on growing. Uh, in the past uh, three months, we've, we've gathered 20 more uh, of activities, and uh, those activities are spread among many levels of education, so not just primary school, uh, high school, uh, universities, but also lifelong um, uh, education as well. So this is uh, our vision now uh, as uh, Wikimedia in education. So we believe that Wikimedia belongs in education and when students of all ages contribute to Wikimedia projects uh, as part of their learning, they gain uh, significant 21st uh, century skills. And uh, by fostering a relationship between education and Wikimedia movement, we have the best chance to uh, realize our goal that the sum of all knowledge uh, will be accessible. Uh, to everyone in the world for free. 
And um, so what are the new uh, updates? Uh, I've explained about uh, we did the surveys, we learned from it, uh, we tried to implement uh, new ideas and uh, new changes. So what are the new updates? Uh, the first thing is uh, the Wikimedia Education uh, Outreach page. Uh, so, if you go to the outreach wikimedia.org um, wiki education, you can see that we made uh, changes. Um, uh, it existed before, but it was not uh, updated very frequently. Um, but now we try to update it more frequently and we, we reach out to communities, please help contribute to the newsletters. And um, we um, we also change uh, the logo. Uh, if you see uh, the logo, we requested to the communication team at the foundation. Uh, they gave us uh, three logo options, and then uh, we did. Uh, we went through a community voting process to choose the right logo, and uh, they chose the the one with the blue color, uh, which is I think it's a nice shade of blue. And um, now we are creating uh, Wikimedia Education uh, as a brand. Um, I will uh, show you more about the um, what is it, the outreach page later. later. Um, so now let's talk about uh, Wikimedia in education. So we've seen a uh, process. Uh, the process that realized uh, uh, the changes. Uh, we saw a new brand identity, we saw the resources, um, but now we should think about when we, when we do an education activity, how are we going to communicate our activities? Is it enough to just say, I'm doing a, a Wikipedia education program, is it enough? Can people from other communities, for example, or other um, other uh, organization, for example, can they relate to that the Wikipedia, Wikipedia education uh, project? Uh, so now I think it is important uh, to think about these four um, these four aspects when you try to talk about uh, the education uh, activities that you've been doing. So first, we should think about what what are we doing and really think about the impact. Uh, of your project and uh, what is your audience learning from it and how are you uh, evaluating it. So uh, I will give you some example. So for example here, um, um, let's try the Ghana example. So in Ghana, in Ghana example, uh, the, they train university professors in Ghana on how to use Wikipedia in the classroom to help students uh, learn uh, writing skills. So we, have, we also have to keep in mind that when we when we uh, when we teach digitization, it's it's one of the 21st century skills. Uh, so when we teach that to students, that means that students uh, learn Wikipedia uh, writing Wikipedia articles. They also exercise different types of skills. So they exercise the research skills, writing skills, uh, and also critical thinking skills. Uh, so through this, uh, the impact from this, uh, from this activity is that uh, we are making the 21st century leaders um, and digital leaders within our movement. Uh, so not just teaching them how to um, uh, edit Wikipedia, but there are bigger impacts that we are uh, trying to make in the in our community. Um, and what are the, some of the collaboration uh, spaces? So after you after you think about your impacts uh, and then you decide on your activities, activities that you want to do, um, and then you still find um, you still find it hard maybe to to create the structures or of your programs or if you need, uh, you can't find resources, enough resources. So we have uh, collaboration spaces. Um, so we have four, currently four collaboration spaces. Uh, the first one is uh, the office hours. So the education team, we host 
one hour of education office hours uh, each month. Uh, so you can come to the to the space and then you can um, talk about anything, talk about your projects. There will be other people from education uh, communities as well. And uh, so not only the comedians, but also people uh, who value our work. Uh, so for example, I met uh, in my first uh, education office hours, I met, I met this really lovely lady uh, she is working in a university and she is trying to edit a Wikipedia to get the students to edit Wikipedia but she doesn't know like where to start so she went to uh, the office hours and then she listened from other of, um, education uh, education community as well uh, who share their activities and yeah we still we are still in touch with her and um, she's still updating she, she's doing a great work in, uh, in Wikipedia editing now, in Wiki Women in Red, in, um, to update uh, women who are um, influential in her universities. Uh, so yeah, if you are clueless, you don't know where to go, you can just uh, join the education uh, office hours. And then there's also an office space uh, where you can request for a one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, with uh, any of the education team member stuff and um, we can you can ask for support to help structure your work properly or um, give feedback or help uh, evaluate your work for example and uh, yeah uh, it's the link will be available in the education uh, outreach page um, and there is also an education user group uh, Open, open meetings. Uh, so the education user group uh, was a call up. Initially, was a call up that um, existed in the education movement. But sorry, but last year uh, they formed their own user group, and uh, they now are hosting bi-monthly uh, meetings uh, with featured speakers as well. So they have different theme each on each meeting, uh, which is very interesting. And uh, another collaboration space is the Wikimedia space. Uh, it's a centralized uh, collaboration multi-lingual uh, uh, platform, which I will show uh, you later as well. Uh, and then, um, how, how to get updates uh, and how, how you can reach us uh, when you can't find um, the resources maybe at the Outreach Wiki. So we have uh, Facebook page. Um, you can find it. Uh, you can just search the media foundation education team, um, and you can join the page. And then uh, we are also available in uh, Twitter at Wikimedia Edu. And then you can always send us an email uh, to education at Wikimedia.org. And we have mailing list. Um, I will distribute these slides, and then you can just click on the link if you are not in the uh, education mailing list already and um, we also have a monthly newsletter where you can find um, other education communities uh, updates uh, on their pro education projects as well. Um, yeah, so uh, that's all but I will show you um, some of the education uh, spaces
yeah, you can find more news over here. Um, and also, you can find about um, the education team as well over here. And then um, you can find more resources. So if you go to resources and then you click on grant guidelines, uh, this is what I presented earlier uh, about uh, the new logo and then the new branding. Uh, you can read it uh, here and then you can also find uh, and download your uh, the new uh, education, the media education logo and then um, the color scheme that we would like you to, to use um, on your uh, designs. And also you can find the, the slides uh, for your slide templates over here. And there are also some other um, illustrations design you can use in your, uh, in your presentation slides. And um, yeah, and then if you click on the community, for example, you can find uh, other countries. Um, for example, if you click on Argentina, as you can see, they, they still use the Wikipedia education program. Um, and then... Or they're going to be these wonderful, wonderful logos. Which one? Like the one that we did the education program. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to help them? Would you like to answer them again? Um, and if you click on the news, you can, uh, you can see uh, the newsletter this month in uh, education. If you haven't signed up to it, uh, you can, uh, I can, I will upload the slides and then you can just click on the link uh, over there. Um, and then if you click on events and opportunities, uh, there's, there's the link to, to know, uh, if, uh, to, the link will explain about more about the education office hours and office space. Uh, that I mentioned about where you can get help, um, one on one consultations, for example. Uh, so, yeah, this is the new uh, uh, Wikimedia and Education Outreach page. If you explore more of this uh, website, you might find some, some pages are still under construction. That's because we are still trying to update uh, new. new uh, new content and um, how many minutes left? Yeah, you can wrap up. Oh, wrap up. Okay. Um, yeah, I was going to show you the. So if you go to Wikimedia Space as well, uh, I'm not going to add it. But if you go to space.wmflabs.org, we also have a category uh, specifically for education. Uh, so you can. You can uh, find other education uh, communities working in education uh, programs. Uh, but yeah, basically that was it, um, my presentation. So if you have any questions? Okay, so uh, I've been using the Wikimedia Education Program, which is now Wikimedia Education for 30, 12 years. I think it's before the program actually was uh, established as a program. In 2007, I did education programs at my school. And um, uh, I have uh, learned so much in the process, and it has been very valuable uh, for my students. My main complaint is retention. It's very difficult to keep retention after the school project is over. It's really hard to keep them engaged. Mm -hmm. And I have a newsletter in August. I think you've probably seen it mm -hmm. in the uh, latest newsletter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, use, I just use popular culture. Is now that this, I'm a computer science teacher mm -hmm. and I'm starting to hate technology because <laughs> everybody is on, everybody wants audiovisual contact, uh, content. Uh, I want to ask something about that. Really. Yeah. Audiovisual content, they want it ready. They don't want to be students, they, they, teenagers, they don't want to be. I have my daughter who's watching nonsense videos on YouTube all day, and I have her writing articles about the, about the YouTubers. Okay. She, they're notable. The YouTubers are notable. So uh, what I want to say is that 
Um, in this age where it's hard to get somebody engaged in writing articles, try Wikidata. Wikidata, like for the really weak students who do not want to do anything, they can translate a description or a label into their language and it makes them feel good and it's their first contact with the Wikipedia project. That's like I discovered this in the past school year. And one thing I wanted to add is, have you thought about incorporating video wiki, the project you know by Pratik Shetty, because I think it's more attractive to students to do video. I talked with him about it, but I didn't follow up. Have you thought about that? Video wiki, yes. The grant, the project process. By Pratik Shetty from, from India. Yes. Yes. He talked and spoke about it last year in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. And um, and this year too. And this year too. I and this year too. I've this year too. I've this year too. In Stockholm. Yes. I missed that. And we were trying to, I was trying to find ways to collaborate with him and get a video wiki in the classroom. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have the time. It's very restricting. We read 45 minutes a week, one class, yeah. one hour per week. Uh, but have you thought about how to maybe incorporate more interaction with video wiki to make it more attractive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm all for written articles. I prefer that. Mm -hmm. But not 12 years old, not 13 year old you know, uh, students. Yeah, well, uh, we and the education team, uh, our main, um, what is it, our main uh, role. role, yes, <laughs> thank you. Our main role is uh, to give this support uh, to the education, um, uh, to the education community. So um, we don't actually like we don't actually tell the community this thing to do, this method you should do this. Um, not that, but communities can learn from each other, which is great. But if you have any specific help, like you you mentioned about your having a uh, hard time with uh, retention, community retention, uh, that is something that you can you can definitely ask uh, for help. You can set up. Uh, a one-on-one -on -one consultation. For example, if you have a project in mind, like you want to do a video wiki, for example, uh, in your own country, and then, uh, but then you you don't know, not you don't know, you're not sure about the method. You need feedback, or you need uh, to brainstorm on ideas. You can always um, uh, reach out, and then you can request a one-on-one -on -one consultation uh, with the team. Uh, if you go to the to this uh, out, uh, outreach page. There. Uh, if you go to the events and, uh, uh, events and opportunities, uh, this one you can just click on this, and then uh, there will be, you can you can fill out a form, uh, sign up and fill out the form, and then we'll schedule uh, one more session with you. Thank you.